Unix versus Linux. What are the differences and what are the similarities? Hi all, I'm Upasna from Edureka and in this module we're going to make a head-to-head -head comparison between Unix and Linux. But before we begin, let's look at our agenda for today. So first of all, we're going to talk a little bit about what are these two OSs, what is Unix, what is Linux. Then we are going to reach the meat and potatoes of this entire module, which is Unix versus Linux. It is a head to head comparison between both of these OS's. Then we're going to take a little time and discuss the limitations of the both. And finally, we're going to look at the market for both of these OS's. So without much ado, let's get straight into the module. So what is Unix? Now, the Unix OS was born in the late 1960s at the AT&T Bell Labs. It basically began as a one man project under the leadership of Ken Thompson and went on to become one of the most widely used operating systems. Now it worked on command line interface, but recently there have been developments for GUI or graphical user interface on Unix systems. It is an OS which is popular in companies, universities and big enterprises, which is commonly used in Internet servers, workstations and PCs. Now, something to notice about Unix is that it is written in C, which at that time allowed quicker modification, acceptance, and portability. It is a multi user, multitasking operating system, which can be used as a master control program in workstations and servers. So, hundreds of commercial applications are available on the Unix OS, which is why it was rapidly adopted and became the standard OS in universities in its heydays. Moving on. Let's look at its counterpart, which is Linux. Now, Linux is an operating system built by Linus Torvalds in 1991. The name Linux comes from the Linux kernel. It is a software on a computer which basically enables applications and the users to access devices on the computer to perform some specific function. It can be installed on different types of computers, mobile phones, tablets, video game consoles, etc. And the development of Linux is one of the most prominent examples of free and open source software collection. Today, many companies and similar numbers of individuals have released their own version of OSs based on the Linux kernel. It can run multiple user programs and the individual accounts are protected because of appropriate authorization. Now, Linux is a replica or a clone of Unix, many would say, but it does not use its code. With this, let's move on to the differences between both of these OS's. So let's look at our first basis of difference, the use. Now, Unix is mostly used in Internet servers, workstations and PCs, while Linux is used by everyone from home users to developers and computer enthusiasts alike. Because Linux OS can be installed on various types of devices like mobile phones, tablets and computers development and distribution now unix systems have different versions and these versions are primarily developed by the at&t as well as other commercial vendors while linux as most of us know is open source and thousands of programmers collaborate online and contribute to its development it features through forums etc and is distributed by various vendors now talking about the architecture Unix is available on PA, RISC, and Itanium machines. Solaris is also available for x86 or x64 based systems. Now, Linux originally was developed for Intel's 86 hardware. So, the ports available are for over two dozen CPU types, including the ARM. Now, let's talk a little bit about the processors of the two. Now, Unix supports your x86, x64, Spark, Power Itanium, PARISC, Power PC, and many others. Whereas the Linux has a wider variety of processors that it supports, which include dozens of different kinds of processors. File system support or the supported file type. Now, Unix supports ZFS, HFX, GPS, XFS, and VXFS systems. Whereas the Linux is supported by file types XFS, NFS, CRAM, FSM from 1 to 4, UFS, DevPTS, and NTFS, which again is a wider variety of file types. 
Next, let's talk a little bit about something both of these are very known for, that is their shell interface. Now, the Unix was originally made to work in Bond shell or the basic shell that we all know of. However, it is now compatible with many other softwares, whereas in Linux, Bash is the default shell. It offers supports for multiple command interpreters. Now that we've spoken about the shell interface, the next logical question is obviously about the graphical user interface. Now, the Unix has a common desktop environment and also has Genome, whereas Linux provides two GUIs, which are the KDE and Genome, though there are many alternatives such as Mate, XFSC, etc., which are just a few of the millions of alternatives that it has. Next, let's talk a little bit about the portability of each of these. Now, Unix is not portable, period, that's it. But Linux is portable and is booted from a USB stick which is a big plus in the side of Linux. Now, of course, this is the next question, security, which is one of the most important features when we move to a certain OS. Now, till date, there are between 80 to 120 viruses that have been reported in Unix, whereas Linux has had about 60 to 100 viruses listed to date, which are currently not spreading. So the next most logical question is the threat detection and solution procedures. While Unix users require longer wait time to get the proper bug fixing patch, threat detection and solution is very fast in Linux because Linux is mainly community driven. So if Linux users post any kind of threat, a team of qualified developers start working to resolve this threat. Now next, let's talk a little bit about the source code. Now this must be an obvious to all of you. As we all know, the source code of Unix is not available to anyone, whereas Linux being an open source OS, the source is available to the general public. And finally, the license. This is something most of you must be waiting for. Now in Unix, different flavors have different pricing depending upon the type of vendor whereas Linux is freely distributed, downloaded through magazines, books, websites, etc. There are priced versions for Linux as well, but they are normally cheaper than that of Windows. Now let's discuss a few limitations of each of these OSs, starting with Unix, shall we? Now the limitations of Unix. Firstly, it has an unfriendly, terse and inconsistent and non-mnemonic user interface. Apart from that, the Unix OS is designed for a slow computer system, so you can't really expect a fast performance. Versions on various machines are slightly different in Unix, so it lacks consistency. And finally, Unix does not provide any assured hardware interrupt response time, so it does not really support real-time response time systems. Apart from this, the shell interface can be treacherous because a single typing mistake can destroy a lot of files. With that, let's move on to a few limitations that Linux possesses. So here are a few limitations in Linux. First of all, there is no standard edition of Linux. Secondly, Linux has a patchy support for drivers, which basically may result in the misfunctioning of the whole entire system. Many of the programs we are using for Windows will only run on Linux with the help of complicated emulators, for example, the Microsoft Office. And finally, Linux is really suitable for only corporate users. It is way harder to introduce in a home setting. Linux, for new users at least, is not as easy to use as Windows. With that, Let's move on to look at a few market trends on Unix and Linux. If we look at overall usage, the Unix OS is used by 69.5% of all the major websites. It's historically leading the chart. But despite that, Linux has started to expand its market rapidly since 2018, as you can see in the graph below. The ability of Linux to easily coexist along with other operating systems and its portability give it a solid edge in the market today. But in the end, the choice is yours, Linux or Unix. Both the OSs have their own pros and cons. With that, I'm closing this session. Thank you and have a great day ahead. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. 
Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!